I'm a commercial fisherman and a hunter. I, I fear. I fear not for myself, but for the future generation. Over the last 40 years, something strange has been happening to the rivers in the United States. One third of them have changed color, shifting from the crystal clear blue we know and love to a murky yellow or green hue. This change in color is a warning sign for the health of our waterways, and it's a cause for concern. The once crystal clear streams and rivers in Arctic Alaska are now a vibrant orange color and filled with haze. In some cases, they're even becoming more acidic. This unspoiled wilderness looks like it's been the site of an industrial mine for years, and researchers are determined to uncover the mystery behind it all. Because this isn't the first time we've seen rivers change colors. Have you dreamed of experiencing the breathtaking beauty of Alaska's wild Arctic landscapes, with its stunning mountain ranges and icy blue lakes? But there's more to these landscapes than meets the eye. They're home to a vast network of more than 10,000 rivers, including the famous Yukon, the third longest river in North America. These rivers are known for their crystal clear waters and abundant supply of salmon. But in recent years, something strange has been happening. Many of these rivers have changed from their characteristic blue color to earthy oranges and yellows. Something is causing some seriously strange things to happen in Alaska. As the ice breaks down, it releases iron-rich sediments that turn a deep, rusty orange color when they come into contact with water and air. This process may also be acidifying the water, and it's causing scientists to ask some big questions about the future. A team led by the esteemed Dial and featuring the brilliant ecologists Sullivan and Hewitt has spent decades studying the impacts of climate change on Alaska's tree line. But now, they're delving into uncharted territory as they investigate rusted waterways in some of the state's most remote and protected areas, including the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. As they explore these stunning, otherworldly landscapes, the team is confronted with a visually impressive and puzzling occurrence something that appears to have broken open or been revealed in a way that's never been seen before. Hard rock geologists are stumped, with some speculating that it could be acid mine waste. It turns out that color changes can provide valuable insights into the health of a water system. A blue color usually indicates clean, healthy water, but yellow hues can be caused by sediment, and green hues can be caused by algae blooms. In this case, the researchers discovered that the most dramatic color changes were occurring near dams, agriculture, and urban areas. So what's causing these changes? According to the researchers, there are a few key factors at play. Farm fertilizer runoff, dams, and efforts to combat soil erosion all play a role, as does man-made climate change, which can raise the temperature of the water and increase rain-related runoff. What will happen to the intricate food webs in these waterways? How will the changes affect human communities that rely on these rivers for drinking water? And will the orange color and acidity stick around, or is this just a temporary blip on the radar? The research team is still trying to figure it all out, but one thing is for sure. They think the drop in pH or acidity is a major cause for concern. The effects on species like fish, stream bedbugs, and plant communities are unknown. And there's a real worry about how it will impact the primary source of food for Alaska's native people who live a subsistence lifestyle. Stay tuned as the team works to unravel this mystery and understand the consequences of climate change in the Arctic. Only time will tell what the future holds for these orange rivers and streams.